Okay. Got the separator cell here. Put the rags on top because I get a few drips when I pour in the water. Okay. Right now I got it hooked up both combined for HHO so I can do the uh, efficiency test. The meter set on HHO with 2.3. Liters per minute. Uh, 13 and a half volts. This thing's running good, by the way. Um, 35.9 amps. And this is what I've got. Okay. So on the first, uh, let's just do this test here. So I compared the alley cat readings with the bottle method. And I was, I was quite surprised. Because when I first did this, this is the first one, this is the alley cat uh, MMW 4.8 and 2.3 liter per minute on the uh, the alley cat gauge or the meter um, so I was thinking ah oh, great I've been off for a long time with my bottle method because usually we're, we're in the fives like the 5.5s with the cell so I did the same test right in a row um, the alley cat said 2.3 and then with my bottle I measured 2.26 so really close in 26 seconds so I calculated the MMW at 4.72 so these two readings are really close which is encouraging which means that uh, probably for the most part um, everything that I've been reporting um, on my website and, every, and through the videos and everything is, is pretty close to being correct so that's what we got right now um, the KOH, I put 55 grams for two liters of distilled water. There's four, four liters of distilled water in the system, so I got 110 grams of KOH. Uh, the maximum I can draw right now is uh, yeah, 36 amps with the amount of KOH we've got in there. Um, everything's running good. I've got the I got the bottles or the levels on the the tanks to stay the same. Now, I didn't use the nanometer because I don't have the right fittings, but uh, let me let me convert this over and I'll show you. Hold on. change the meter so you can see how much hydrogen is coming out. Guess. So I've got the the tanks leveled out pretty good, um, and this is what I had to do. 
I think there's a lot of, because I'm going uphill with my, my lines, I've got to put a lot more water in the hydrogen tank than the oxygen. Back out here you can kind of see. So there's a lot more weight in this tank. And now I understand how you uh, leveled out your tanks. This make, made sense. So um, not, too, not too hard to do. I just need more water on one side than the other until the tanks level out, just like you're telling me. So when this settles, it'll be, it'll be just a little bit more water in the oxygen side, which means I just got just a little bit more pressure, which is what we want. That way we're getting pure, pure hydrogen out. And the meter shows about 1.7-ish liters per minute of hydrogen. And we've got 36 amps. I went to plug in the other meter uh, and the adapter that I got burned out. So I called Alley Cat and they told me that this meter, which is a 250 liter per minute meter, I was going to measure the oxygen side, but uh, it needs a 24 volt uh, power adapter. And this one here only needs a 12. So that was interesting. So there's, no, there's a one here in town called the Radio Shack. Nothing in town. So I ordered one from Alley Cat. So I'm going to. I'll have that meter hooked up to the oxygen when I get it. I'm going to run this uh, uh, dryer and filter on the other side too to protect the meter. But anyway, this is what we got. Um, this is my little man watching over my project. The uh, PWM 36 amps. Running 90, 96 degrees, and it's 70 in here. So 20, only 20, 26 degrees over ambient. This this thing's neat here. Uh, the it'll show you the the gas. Of course, the this is the volume. It also has you switch it over to the mass. So it's measuring mass. And then up here, this is the uh, barometric pressure, or some, something to do with the barometric pressure. And right here, it measures the temperature of the actual gas. So it only does it in, in Celsius, so I have to do a conversion. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. It's probably near room temperature. Uh, so 22.33 degrees Celsius, the gas. So pretty cool little meter. Um, I'm not sure what else you'd want to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more KOH in and raise these amps up. There you can see the tanks now. Raise these amps up uh, so that I can... Uh, more KOH the efficiency should go up. And I also want to drive this PWM higher. My power supply will do up to uh, 60 amps, so I want to get it up near over 50 to test this out and test the efficiency of the cell. All right, I'll get this video over to you, and uh, we'll talk later. Thanks.